All right, let me give you a quick update on the TBN Plex version 5 webhooks slash hue lights integration. So if you remember in the last video, if you watched it, I don't think any of this was here. We just had this in the webhook section. But we did have this hue light section built out for the most part. So what we've added in here, because you have had the option for a while, not only to have your system react at pause and play to raise and lower the lights, but also to have it do genre color effects. So let me show you how that is set up here. So the default actions on uh, play, pause, resume, and stop, it lists here. Which, what this means is my hue, that's the uh, shortcut for our hue library that we did. Light client is your light client. And you can see here it shows you your light clients if you have any added. So the first one is my Rasplex 3 that controls my group upstairs. And my game PC client controls my desk lights. All right, so that's what this light client is. It's a placeholder for your available light clients. And then the actions is going to happen. So on the defaults on play and resume, it will fade your lights down to 20, 20 brightness. That's not 20%, that's 20. Uh, Hue does their brightness between 0 and 255. And on uh, stop and pause, it will raise your lights to 200 out of that 255. So like 75% or whatever. Uh, and you can add light clients, you hit this light client button, you specify the client and then either the light or the group that you want to have react when your webhooks come for that client. Now the other thing that you can do besides react based on play state is you can also react based on genres. And what that does is it will change your lights to a specific color that you specify if the title that you're playing is from that genre. Now, uh, one note here, since an item can have multiple genres, it looks at the first genre associated with the item, so keep that in mind. So the way it works is, for say, action, it will change the lights blue first. All right, so I just added blue in there for act, for action, and we'll say drama orange, and we'll say uh -oh, comedy pink, and uh oh. I think I got a bug in here. I got a fix. Oh, I bet I know what it is. I'm accidentally clicking on this instead of in the box. Okay, so uh, let's do sci-fi green. I'm still learning about fox questions. Try <laughs> asking tell me a fox fact to learn more about them. Thanks, Alexa. <laughs> Uh, we'll say Thriller Orange. Oh, we already have Thriller. We already have Orange in there, right? Whatever. Uh, let's do another one. Adventure Yellow. So you can add a bunch of these, you know, what, however many that you want. to match whatever the genres are in your library. And you'll notice that it's obvious that it puts the color associated with the genre in here. That is for your benefit so that you can easily look at them and tell what color it's going to change when this feature is on. Now enabling it and disabling it is really easy. It's as simple as now it's off now it's on. And the webhook light effects are the same way. Webhook light effects are now on. 
webhook light effects are now off. All right, so these are optional features. You don't have to use them. But if you want to use them, they're extremely easy to set up. Now, these are the default actions. You can change them if you want to with a command line uh, set set webhook, pause, play, resume, and stop. All right. So that is the hue changes for uh, webhooks. Oh, and uh, one other thing you can do here that's not obvious is, like, let's say you really wanted Thriller to be purple. You click on it, and it's that easy to change. All right. So these turn into buttons when you add them. You can then click on them. It auto-populates the name for you. You specify the new color. That's how that works. So now you got that going for you. Easy hue webhook integration. Pretty effortless. And then, of course, if you want to control your hue lights, you have this little simple panel that you can go between. Lights, groups, actions, colors, fade, instant. Just basic stuff. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.